Hey guys, I'm Melissa. I am a registered dietitian. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. Thanks for joining. Um, today we are talking about uh, something a lot of people want to know about, and that is diets. And a pretty common question, which is why is my diet not working? So today I'm going to give you a few reasons why maybe your diet isn't working. So let's get into it. So reason number one is that you're not eating enough. If you have a dramatic drop in calories, which doesn't have to be a thousand calories, it can just be a couple hundred calories a day, or if you're restricting yourself to like 1200 calories a day or whatever, like a lot of fad diets do, um, that drop in calories is going to make your body want food more and it's going to make it kind of go into like a little bit of a starvation mode and hold on to the calories that it is getting and the fat that you are storing because it doesn't know when its next meal is going to come and it doesn't know when it's going to be re-nourished. So dropping your calories actually does slow down your metabolism because your body's holding on to all that it can get at that point. So honestly, this is reason number one why behavior modification and you know small sustainable lifestyle changes is so much more important than just restricting calories because if you're just restricting calories and you're not eating enough, your body's metabolism is gonna drop a lot to just kind of maintain what you already have. Reason number two is kind of along the same lines, and that's that you're not refueling your body. So a lot of us, when we start a diet, not only are we restricting our calories, but we're starting to exercise more, which obviously exercise is not a bad thing. We should all be moving our bodies more, but when you are exercising a lot more than you're used to and restricting your calories, your body can't refuel from that physical activity. And all that's gonna happen is that you're gonna lose muscle, which none of us want, let's be honest. So it's really important if you are doing that physical activity to refuel your body and not worry about further restricting it so that, like we talked about, your metabolism drops and you're not able to refuel your body. So you're just losing muscle and being really tired and further slowing down your metabolism because your body just wants to hold on to all the fuel that it has since you're not refueling it properly. Reason number three is that you aren't drinking enough water. Water is so important to pretty much every system in our body. Our bodies are made up of like 50 to 60% water, so it's really kind of crucial to make our bodies run the way that it should. Plus, if you start drinking more water, it's likely that you're gonna decrease the amount of sugary beverages that you are drinking, which as we all know, can just provide a ton of empty calories, which can also sabotage your diet. So drinking more water not only helps your body run better, makes you feel better, but also can help you cut down on those sugary beverages as well. Reason number four is you aren't getting enough sleep. Sleep is incredibly important, not only to your diet and your weight, but your overall health as well. Lack of sleep really actually affects your hunger and fullness hormones. So when you are sleep deprived, you are going to get an influx of those hunger hormones and you're going to be hungrier. I like if you really think about it, I feel like you can definitely tell that this is happening. I 100% can tell when I'm sleep deprived, I just want to eat everything in sight. I just want to eat like five meals a day. And it, I really can tell the difference from when I'm sleep deprived to when I get enough sleep. So, and in addition to those hunger and fullness hormones being off, um, there can also be hormones in your body that trigger um, holding on to more fat, storing more fat when you're sleep deprived. So getting enough sleep is really crucial to um, maintaining your weight, losing weight, sticking to a healthy diet, and honestly just overall health. Reason number five is that you aren't eating foods that nourish and fuel your body. So I feel like in a lot of fad diets or just weight loss diets, we are pretty much just conditioned to eat the lowest calorie things available because you're really just focusing on calorie restriction. And we get so much into that mentality of a calorie is a calorie is a calorie and it's all about calories in, calories out, that you just wanna go for the low calorie option, which a lot of times isn't really nourishing your body at all. So a lot of times we end up going for these like diet foods that are just kind of void of nutrients 
and that's why they're lower in calories because they don't really have anything in them so I mean think about like a hundred calorie pack of cookies or something and like half an avocado or a handful of nuts or something yeah the 100 calorie pack is going to be less calories but the other options are so much better for your body and you know eating those diet foods that have no nutrients in them is going to end up sabotaging you because you're just going to be hungry in 30 minutes after you eat it and then you're just going to end up eating another snack after that that also has no nutrients but might be low in calories and you know they all add up because you're not actually nourishing your body whereas if you would have just eaten the handful of nuts yeah it might have been more calories but it's going to keep you full and fuel your body a lot longer than that diet food and finally the reason that your diet isn't working is because you're focusing on the short term whether it's weight loss or just like a healthy lifestyle that you're going for focusing on small sustainable goals is the key to making it last because the reality is if you want to you know lose 10 pounds for this one thing then you're going to restrict yourself so much and once you hit that goal you're just going to go back to the lifestyle you were living before and regain the weight anyways and doing any type of highly restrictive diet with an end point is most likely to result in you going back to the way you were living and eating before and it's going to result in gaining that weight back and a lot of times gaining even more weight as well. So honestly, focusing on small, sustainable behavior lifestyle changes is what's going to get you the lasting results. You might not lose five pounds in a week, which you shouldn't be doing anyways, but you're going to get lasting results and you're going to get results and a lifestyle that you can stick with through your entire life. So those are a few reasons why your diet might not be working for you. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if it was, then please give it the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or any other videos that you would like me to do, then please leave them in the comments below. I think that's all I have for today. Good luck making those small sustainable changes um, and I will see you next week. Bye.